Hi guys, my name is Ksenia and in this video I am going to show you how to create a mushroom character in Blender. Let's get started. First I apply a subdivision modifier to the cube. I press Ctrl A to apply it. To make it perfectly round, I go to the transform section and select to sphere and adjust it by dragging the mouse. Or you can press Shift Alt S plus 1. Then I start modeling the mushroom shape. During the modeling process, I will use the combinations like E plus necessary axis. If I want to extrude the shape upward, I will press Z, which allows me to move in a straight direction. After that, I add the subdivision modifier without applying it and smooth out the surface of the shadows. I copy the top part of the mushroom to create a cap. Then I select the necessary vertices and press P. To align the vertices I need a default loop tools add-on. I turn it on and now I can align all the selected vertices along the z-axis. Now add a solidify modifier to the cap and fix the shape. Next, I remove half of a mushroom body and add a mirror modifier, so when I create arms and legs on one side, they will be symmetrical on the other side. I delete the polygons to extrude the arm. I use the loop tools to shape the vertices into a circle shape. 
to extrude their vertices in or out, I use E plus S combination and drag in the right direction. To merge all vertices into one, I select all and press M. Repeat the same process for the legs. Now add a cube and apply the subdivision modifier. Then I try to make a simple shape similar to a boot. I add another subdivision, but without applying it. Then I add a mirror modifier for the boot, and I need to apply all the changes like rotation and location for the modifier to work correctly. I press Ctrl A and select all transforms. Now I add a sphere. To resize the object in only one axis, I press S plus necessary axis. For the eyes, I press S plus Y to make it flatter. Next, I also add the mirror modifier for the eyes.
I add a circle as a surface on which the mushroom will stand. I have finished doing the modeling part and now I can move on to the next one. I am using the EV rendering engine to achieve a 2D effect. I add a sound to show the shadows. To make the quality of the shadows better and more contrast, I adjust some parameters in the shadow section. I go to the shader editor to set up materials. To achieve the 2D effect, I add a shader to RGB node, which will display on the flat color on the object. This shader works only this EV rendering engine. Now I will set colors for the body of the character. To make the shadows contrast, I switch to constant mode. To reduce self-shadowing, I click on the light object and go to the Object Data Properties tab and change Bias to 5. To achieve the same color as in the color picker, I go to the color management and change filmic to standard. I copy this material for all other objects, changing only colors.
I change the background color. I go to the menu on the right. Now I have the main model ready and I can start adding details. I want to combine 3D objects, these drawings and I will use a grease pencil to look for it, so I can add an outline and draw lines over my objects. I add a camera to the scene, because the outline will not work without it. Then I add the grease pencil and move it to a new collection. In the layer section, I name the layer Outline. Then I go to Modifiers and select Line Art to add the outline. Now I can adjust the thickness of the lines. I disable intersection to remove the stroke from some objects, like the eyes. To make the lines completely disappear, I replace the eyes from the mushroom collection. Sometimes it doesn't work right away, so I enable random setting and revert it back. Now I change the line color from default black to dark blue. If you look at the model from the side, you can see curved lines, so it's better to look at the model through the camera. To rotate the camera around the character, I add a new empty object and set it as a parent to the camera. Now, when I rotate the empty around the axis, the camera follows it.
You also can enable camera to view in the view panel on the right to see the correct outline. Just press N and choose camera to view. I will draw a smile over the object. To do this, I create a new layer. I switch to draw mode. I use the arch tool to draw the smile. To place the lines correctly on the object, I select surface in the stroke placement section. If you look at the mushroom from the side, you can see that the line is too far from the object. I fix it by adjusting the offset. To avoid light from reflecting off the lines, I disable the use of light option. To add highlights to the eyes, I create a new material. I adjust the material setting to turn off the stroke and only retain the fill. Then I select the circle tool. Following the same process, I create cheeks. After drawing one cheek, I copy it in edit mode. Now I will draw a circles on the cap. I would like the outline to be thin, so 
so I adjust the line radius. I press F12 to check the rendering result. I can see a problem here. The circles drawn on the back side of the cap are visible from the front side. To fix it, I go to the view layer and enable the pass option. It's much better, but now there is a new problem. The eye highlights look messy. It happens because the drawings intersect with the model surface, so I need to fix them. Now I avoid getting too close to the object and try to find the optimal position for the drawings. Now I can see the outline doesn't look good as well. I can fix it by changing depth offset in modifier settings to 0.1. It moves stroke slightly towards the camera to avoid clipping. Now the outline is too thick. I fix it by changing line thickness. Now I create vertical lines on the top of the mushroom. To make rough lines I choose the ink pen rough brush. Next, I swap the layers, so the drawn lines are under the main outline. Then I add a new layer that will overlap the existing lines. Now I create a new material to draw shoelaces.
the character is complete, I will make a short animation. To do this, I select empty and rotate it 15 degrees. Press R plus 15 and save this position. Then add a new one by pressing R minus 30 and also save this position. To make the animation cyclic, I move the second keyframe to the middle and copy the first keyframe to place it at the end. Next I set up the render settings for video animation. Now I choose a folder where my video will be saved and click Render Animation. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more creations in this style, please let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching!